Life is never made unbearable by circumstances, but only by lack of meaning and purpose. Victor Frankl. It is in this voyage through existence and search for meaning that we ultimately can attain liberation if we dare to focus, be still, and work to understand. Our ancestors understood this better because they were closer to nature, closer to others around them, and were not so distracted that they forgot their inner wisdom. Modernity has often left us with little to hold on to that offers much meaning and purpose. The destructions of the last century has left humanity vulnerable and often lost. Fortunately, despite all the wars, famines, persecutions, and genocides, a few precious remnants of unbroken lineages of compassion and wisdom have survived. Although much in the world appears uncertain, and fraught with danger, there is hope and power that the future can be better. The world may be filled with man-made problems, yes, this is so, but therein is the hidden message. If we could cause the problems for ourselves and in the world around us, then we can also be the solution if we try. Our existence beckons us to set foot firmly on the path and start our journey ahead. Search within and regain our childlike wonder and joy and really live. Breathe in and touch what is truly sacred and holy. The blessings are all around us if we open our hearts and minds. It is written that when the student is ready, the teacher appears. Those who know Lama Sonam are especially fortunate and blessed in this way. This is the story of his arrival, his journey, his mission, and the Joel. Lama Sonam, wonderful being here with you. Thank you so much for agreeing to meet with us and have this amazing opportunity to share with you, learn about your life story, learn about your amazing journey and the Dharma and just imbibe in this amazing uh, activity here. So thank you so much, Lama Sonam. So if you could start just to tell us a little bit about where you're from in your childhood and just the earliest beginning of your journey. Thank you. Well, thank you <clears throat> for opportunity to uh, explain who I am or where I come from, uh, things like that. Uh, yes, <clears throat> I was born in Tibet, uh, the area called Ndigung Yichi. Uh, not too far uh, from Lhasa. Uh, this day is from Lhasa to my hometown by car, uh, I think one hour. Uh, so there's the uh, marketplace. And then there are small uh, school. Uh, so the countryside, small school, I've been there. And then my teens, they uh, change to want to become monk. And nearby, uh, they're called Kadze Monastery. They're built by 
Dharma King Songzen Gambo, uh, 1,300 years ago. And this monastery is very significant, uh, you know, important mark uh, in, in Tibet. The Dharma King Songzen Gambo built many monasteries. Uh, this is the one of the important one. Then they have my great uh, teacher uh, early before to become monk. Then I become monk for him. <coughs> He's my root teacher. Uh, his name is His Eminence Nidak Rinpoche. Uh, now he is uh, 76 something years old. And then <coughs> Uh, people go to the Mount Kailash as the holy place, we believe. Many places there are, say, such place in the Mahasiddha uh, accomplishment. Many yogis, yoginis, the rest of life practice. If you want to go to those places, you also increase your spiritual life and things like that. So I was spent time, uh, 10 years in uh, my monastery in Katze Monastery, and then um, ninety-eight, something like that, uh, journey to Mount Kailash uh, through on Nepal, and by walking uh, Himalaya mountain, and then from Nepal to India, and India we have the our uh, head quarter or monastery, the His Holiness Jikung Kyamgon Chezang Rinpoche built the exile uh, man monastery in Dehradun by New Delhi to their uh, car, six hours, something like that. So I was there uh, almost uh, 10 years. And then uh, from there to Kem Seed, uh, and the 2001 December, so uh, then up until now here. So they were born to up until now. That's amazing. That's amazing. So I understand when you came to, um, when you came to cross the Himalayas, it didn't just take one time. It took you many times to try to cross. That's right. So they have karma test. To eat up to patient, you know. Some my friend one time, then the back or bring back in the Pali police uh, security catch and back to the end border and then back to uh, state by state to in the Lhasa. And a lot of challenge. And my friend, they think, oh, I'm not trying again. So my mind, one is too early to keep up. Two is too early to keep up. My mind commitment five times uh, uh, I wanted, you know, if five times it never uh, succeed, then I don't have the karma. Mm. So the second time, uh, force a uh, lot uh, hardships and many things, but and then I uh, succeed. Amazing. And how long did it take you to cross? When to cross over the Himalayas, I understand that that journey usually is made during the winter time. You, you did that on foot. How long did right. that take? From uh, during the time, the road is not the same as right now. Right now, the new road is the lot of uh, highways and directly pointing and things like that. And before, uh, from Lhasa to Mount Kailash, morning to n n evening, you can drive all day long, at least one week, to get there. First, Mount Kailash. Wow. And then you will mount Kalash Sargamambalate and near Lake Manasar you will Sargamambalate. You need to research who is going from here to the border. So how you know? So you don't know. So you trust this person? You don't know. So this way the time is searching for a little while there. And then there you will uh, depend those persons because the other side of the country our language is not the same, and the landscape is not the same. We have no clue the directions in the road. So we need to hire 
someone on the journey. A guide. To pay and the guide, yes. <clears throat> and you have to cross over in the winter because the rivers and everything are frozen. Is that correct? Yes, winter is a little more or better sometimes because uh, mountain is a lot of snow and cold. And then the water security is like um, groundhog, you know, maybe we sleep in the ground because too cold. So we will let maybe go easy to a uh, danger to, you know, maybe the light trail, but it's uh, less risk to catch. Mm. Now, when you crossed over, did you go just by yourself or like you with like a big group of people or the small? first time there were a big group. Uh, second time the small only twelve. Amazing, amazing. So real sacrifice, a real effort to come here. Well, this you know, uh, we look in the great master like Milareba. There's you can look Lord Buddha. One cushion, six year to meditate. Look, military a whole life in the mountains. They're now looking fancy house, nutrition food, fancy things. That's much training in the mind. If the mind sacrifices just a small one atom, no compete. But yes, it's a lot of challenge for us, you know, just on the way, no change clothes, cold, food. And then the worry on the way you will get or not many things. Mm. Maybe you will cross the Himalayan mountain. They will your dream. But another obstacle, maybe, maybe never return to your hometown. Maybe you never see your parents. All those the mentally, maybe I'll go, yes, maybe no, so many things. But you need to end of the day your decision. Even though you die on the road, you think next life I will be rebirth wishing for my dream place. You know, for us, like Buddhists, we need important Buddhists. A bird place need to visit Lumbini, see the Buddhist enlightened place, the Bodhigaya, and then the great so many living beings, and you know, such teachers. So those who have a big uh, wishing, so small sacrifices and not count much. So the most important thing is the original thought, is the key motivation. Yes, you need exercise. You are on the road, you die, whether you're disappointed or rejoicing or regret, you need to exercise. You um, separate your country, it's not fun. Uh, the right away, change language, culture, many things. If some place, maybe you have relatives and cousins, they will <clears throat> sort of reception, you are welcome. But you have no no clue to anybody there. So only your big dreams, you know, looks like somebody shooting in the space. They're almost no target in the space. Hmm. They're not rich, but the big dreams, you're going to someday target somewhere. Hmm. So that is kind we have um, to reaching in the, uh, Nepal, in India, want to learn something real Buddhist authentic teachings. And the teacher is the best quality teachers. You have time to practice. You have place to live there. So those are the young monks' dream. So how did you feel after you had, you know, risked everything? You had crossed over the mountains after, you know, how long did it take for you to cross, actually? And, you know, you say in the, uh, in the mountain to the uh, other border, maybe 29 days. Wow, almost a month, minutes. basically a month. a month. Yes. Just I said, you, uh, your question is how feeling. Yes, feeling is happy because your dream place is you walking. But now risk is begin. You can return. Or your parent, you can see this life. Yes or no. Mm. Uh, there no question clear. You can see many new things in your life. But those is just comes and goes and comes and goes. Nothing is your there. The parents and your own root teacher is so precious. Mm. You cannot see this kind of again and again. Of course, there are escapes. And then from there, how long were you in India? 
in uh, Nepal. From Nepal, we reach in Nepal, they call a uh, reception center. And there may be month because uh, there are many people and then sent to the India. And in India, uh, they also reach a reception center and you can meet uh, all the leaders, and, you know, whatever we need to see. And then they have choice where you want to go. You want to go to school or monastery and things like that. So uh, I have belongs to some sect, the Jibungaju sect. So this way from Dharamsala to uh, Dharatun, uh, then stay there for uh, 10 years. So I imagine when people come to the reception center, there's also medical facilities too for people who have frostbite or yes. things like that. Yes. So when you came, you didn't have frostbite or you, you miraculously weren't? Yeah, I'm uh, for, uh, as fortunate as they not uh, happen that kind. But we saw other uh, groups of people. Uh, they lost fingers and ears, things like that. Wow. Wow. So from India, what, what was your journey to come to America? If you could tell us that story, why did you choose America as opposed to maybe Europe or just stay in India? India, <clears throat> uh, we are in the monastery. You see here today here, he's a minister. Mm -hmm. So he is going to Taiwan, from India to ta in Taiwan first time. So Rinpoche asked me to come or uh, attend him. We have three uh, monks. I'm one of them. So this is my first time in outside in India. So we went in Taiwan, you know. Then the three months uh, stay there, Rinpoche returned to India. And their center, uh, I will stay there uh, three more months, six months. And then we have we, uh, the situation in the United States 9-11 has happened. And we have the two other friends in the Campbell. And we heard the one of our great master live in Arizona. His eminence, Garchen Rinpoche. He has very a special retreat in prayer. And we also know this time is very important for the people in the United States in the world. The terrorists begin to destroy the beautiful twin tower. We saw in Taiwan, and you know, that's where we will come to the uh, retreat and prayer for those people pass away and so many people the um, terrifying experience. That's where we come to retreat in Arizona. We did after uh, and come to the Arizona and preparation is we don't only have hour because all the retreat is begin. So 30 minutes rest in there, and then we retreat to the Rumba chain uh, almost two months, 56 days, and we retreat. This is a very a special retreat. You sit in one place, you sleep in the same place, not uh, a special other place. So that kind, uh, not many people believe I'm coming to the United States retreat. That's not many believe. So this is true. Uh, we will come to the, there, and then I go there. Every year, that's the retreat. Is that the retreat where you're sitting inside a box? And no then... box. No, no box. At the same place. Not moving. Just moving, you know, yeah. of course you can move. But yeah. you sleep in there and getting up to some place. Wow. And others, they're reciting day and night. You know, they are uh, especially yeah, very unique. Wonderful. Wonderful. And then from there... If you could tell us your story from from that to coming to Massachusetts and the beginning origin of what we have now, the DMC. Yes. So one of the, my philosophical teacher, his eminence Ken Chen Kunchok Jansen Uh So uh, one of my friends, uh, Campbell, uh, he asked to the Rubachin. You know, uh, I'm here, uh, maybe, uh, you know, teacher in the one of the centers somewhere sent. And then Ken Jin uh, said yes. You know, he said, you chose three places, uh, one of the Massachusetts. Mm, then I said, 
I, I have no idea all those states, no experience weather in anything. I said, where's the more Tibetan people I will go there? Mm. Then the country said, oh, in here, Boston, is more people, uh, especially some of my hometown people here, Kenji Rubichi knows. So that is I um, came to here. Reason um, here I can serve to the, my community in Tibetan. So I did. You will remember or not, long time ago, Tibetan Community Center Sunday School in Sudanburg Church in Harvard. Mm -hmm. Harvard. So I teach the voluntary Sunday school, uh, I think almost two years. And up until now, whoever comes, now I can help. So this is where I came to here, 2003. I remember during the time we have uh, one of the, our um, Dhamma practitioner, Ken which is a student, uh, Jim Dean, and Mary Burke and other several uh, students. So Jim Dean's a small apartment we use there, very small. I told him, your heart is bigger than your apartment. So the apartment is very tiny, but it will fit there. I will spend time there with him four years. Then we look in a bigger to rent the center. We found Arlington. The Arlington 2007 to 2021. Then we're looking for those years, every year looking, for example, 2007 to 2021, Arlington renting cost 600,000. Mm. So next six years, you will spend another 600,000. So we say, we don't have the money right now, but we need to buy a center. So I'm searching every day, last eight or 10 years. Mm. And then I came to this place and I just look around and feels good. And then we got uh, end of the 2000, uh, year, uh, 21, and we got this one in July. Our list end in uh, August, so we have one month to moving and clean here and clean there. So up until now, so here, uh, upcoming July is our second year. Mm. How time goes by. Yes. How time goes by. Well, it's an amazing journey. That's right. Definitely an amazing journey. And could you have ever have imagined that it, you would be here when you were in Tibet? Did no. you have any idea that, you know, uh, did you think when you were leaving Tibet that you're just leaving for, like, you know, the freedom, to have access to the authentic teachings? Or did you think, I am going to go to America? Did you have no. any auspicious signs or anything? No. I'm honestly going to the India, and that's the holy place and the holy teacher. That is um, my motivation, and that's only the uh, one beginning. But then, cause and conditions, karmas. Now I'm here. No, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Thank you, Lama Sonam. Thank you, Lama Sonam, for Hello. this. Again, another opportunity to have a conversation with you. And this time we're going to talk about um, the Jowo statue that you made, caused to be made, the history of the Jowo, what is a Jowo, a um, little bit of the story of uh, the Jowo in the Jokong, what is the Jokong, and we'll just, just set that as a brief overview. So just to begin, Lama Sonam, when we hear the word Jowo, just so people understand, what yes. does that word mean and what is the significance of that within the context of um, everything? Jowo means a noble one. A noble one and the kindness to looking all beings. The Jowo Shakyamuni is the full name. Jowo is the noble one. So they built in India uh, the two statue, uh, one of the still in Bodhigaya. And a long time ago, Indian uh, 
king in Chinese king the Guru relationship. So one time the story said the Chinese king offered to the Indian king uh, materials of uh, silk, uh, but looks like the unhuman being uh, made, like they say, Dagas and Dagini's made or something. So you cannot find where's the beginning, where's the end. So this kind of a unique fabric, you cannot find the duplicate in this world. So then the Indian king also uh, realized the India as rich cultural, language, religion, things like that. So then the Bodhigaya, uh, second floor, the Buddha, uh, give to the in, in China. So they cannot find in the replica, just the one, the one of those. So then the 1,000, a little over 300 years, um, just we early, my monastery is Gazan Monastery, built by Dharma King Songzhan Gambo, the 32nd um, Tibetan Dharma King. So he has one Chinese wife called Princess Wan Shin Kuan Zhou. So there are long stories, the short is the, uh, she bring uh, through the, uh, the king's, one of the very intelligent minister called Gar Minister. So Gar Minister uh, bring Wan Shin Kuan from China to Tibet. And then the, uh, her parent gift for her, the statue, or uh, came to from uh, China to Tibet. The before Lord Buddha is the same, uh, it's like here, you know, they don't have the crown ornament, we go Sambhogagaya form. Same as the Bodhigaya Buddha, it's in the Managaya form. And then the little over 600 years ago, uh, the founder of the Kluk tradition in Tibetan Buddha sect called Lama Tsongkhapa. So he offered to the uh, Chowo crown. After that become and then the Chowo Buddha crown. Uh, before original statue, they don't have the crown and tajin ornament. And in Tibetan people in Himalaya regions, most in Tibetan people, uh, they want to see uh, this Buddha statue. It's very unique. Once a lifetime, before you die, you must need to see the statue. So it's not thinking it's a statue made by human being. They're thinking it's a real Buddha living Buddha from the statue. But Wustrum is always there. So this this kind of uniqueness is Chowo in, in Tibet. So they believe that the Jowo is self arisen? The statue self arisen? Or made by Dakas the Dakinis or no, it, it, no Tibetan people are not looking who built. But thinking I made Buddha they think it's a real Buddha, just I'm saying. Remember, mm. it's not looking what who milled which country, which factory, which material. They're not looking at that. Because the tremendous devotion to the Buddha and Buddha's teaching and Dharma Sanghas. And you can look in Tibetan. Uh, the early tradition is born in the original in Tibetan. Later on, they change. The eight centuries and the change. And then become as become Buddhism country. It's not the only small, it's deep. That everybody can carry in the three jewels. The Buddha statue, they're now looking, oh, this expensive because of gold. Oh, that's not my value, it's only made of wood. Not, not thinking that way. Mm. They're thinking it's a very educated way. And they're looking at the wisdom. But this Buddha is, they're thinking, uh, represented the real Buddha. Mm. You know, they say, oh, I'm very illness, I have bad dreams, I have so many going on in my life. When I go to the Chogan temple, everything's like cloud disappear into space. So that's kind of people believe inside they, their own heart. If you heart this kind of belief, Buddha blessings always within this person's heart. As long as you doubt, and blessings not there. Mm. So that's the job in the in Tibet is everybody is spiritual place, the important place. And they look after that, 
you know, tourists also they want to go to the house first, want to see as a Chowo Buddha. How did you feel when you saw it? I am assuming you you saw the the Jowo and the Jokan. Yes, you know, we're talking about the first time, right? First mm. time was a young age, and it just you know it looks like uh, pretty, uh, you know, nice. That's all. We don't know beyond the enlightened qualities. Mm. Then each time you understand more, become monk, and you become more understanding. Each time you will see you feel or fulfills, you know. Uh, that's kind. Everybody feel. Amazing. Amazing. So, Lama Sonam, you have created a Joe here in Massachusetts, Danvers, Massachusetts. So, what was your thinking? Why did you do that? And what was your journey to doing that? Was that like an idea that appeared to you in a dream? Or did your teacher tell you to do it? What is the story? The story is no dream, no whisper, invention, nothing. And my own thought would look in the uh, important way. And Tibetan is now some exile 60 years. Mm. Their generations disappear. Now third generations in here, first in Nepal, India, now here, their only grandparents telling story is the Tibet. There are no experience. So now there are so many things we can uh, share or build many things. I thought the Jogu Buddha is the important. The older people can tell what is the significant for them. The religion point or spiritual point, whenever there's some big ceremonies, why they need to go from the Jogu. Top to bottom, everybody need to go there. Why they so respect. Mm. They are very you know, important. So I thought this is I can build in the United States. This is my gift to this country, you know? So that is where uh, my uh, mind came about idea. Mm, it's a beautiful story. But it couldn't have been easy to find all the parts, all the pieces, and, you know, tell me about that journey, you know, what, you know, just like, did you look around? You know how did how did that work? Did you say, "Oh, this one's where I can get the the gold. This is where I can get the beads." And no, I I cannot see the beads and gold. But I need to want to build a whole of statue. But now, how the question is how you did? Do you have any big uh, sponsor, or did you win lottery? Mm. How you did? I don't have neither one. I have my own strong faith. When I thought something, I never change it. Of course, a useless change. A useful is not need change. Mm. What do I thought? And His Holiness Dalai Lama says, you know, he will live in 180 years or 13 years. Mm. The, uh, of course, world need a good leader like his holiness and he keep teaching the wisdom peace harmony that's important and he long life is not only Tibetan issue people love to peace so I said and I will read the 8,000 verses of perfection wisdom as a parent, uh, yep. this one is you know, in the text, in the, the text here and behind me, long like this a table size. And the page, uh, there are 578 pages. I said, if you can sponsor the station, this uh, sutra, and then this also benefit your own family one year prayer or traditional prayer. It helps your family be healthy, etc. There's a raising money you can build the jowo. 
dedication to the long life in His Holiness Dalai Lama and all the great beings on this earth. Not only Tibetan, not only Christian, not a religion person, only. Mm. whoever makes the difference. You know, some people have no religion, no belief, anything, but that makes in the human humanity is a better. You know, so those is my motivation. So now, I read reciting the eight thousand verse perfection wisdom sutra. One hundred eight. The money is not close. When I asked to the Nepal in the factory, a special um, they built called Bhatan as the area. And this is our artist is the best one in the uh, in Nepal. Most expensive one, the best the handmade. Called Siddharata. Siddharata. So my dear my dear friend called Cho Lama, and my best friend live in Nepal. I asked him. I want to build Cho. You need a uh, tech care. I send all the monies and you know as much as I can turquoise and those ornaments. So that's where we uh, reciting the uh, sutras and also uh, I did many time the fundraising for uh, succeed the Chobo Buddha. And we begin two thousand seven. Five or seven, and then Joe came to the United States. Eight, two thousand eight. Within two years, we succeed. Wow. So now we can say, the Joe Buddha in the first time in the West. You don't have travel to Tibet. It's maybe your age, your financial, your health issue, but you come to here. You let be satisfied. This is a real Chohan temple. Mm. Not the same outside the golden temple, you know, a size, but this is just looking like me in a tiny, tiny guy. No sponsor, no introduce anybody, just dependent people, public people can help. The past, this way to rebuild in um, Buddha temple, on the Buddha uh, statue, and also uh, uh, the belief. They can continue help to succeed our, our temple as well. It's an amazing story. Well, Lama Sonam, thank you again. Here we are um, with this third part. We're just going to dive into what is your vision of the Drikung Meditation Center, the Jokan Temple here in America. What is your vision? Where do you see it going? What is the benefit? And how people can help. So first question is, what is your vision for the DMC? DMC, my vision is <clears throat> more benefit. More benefit for people directly come to this here, this temple. Uh, come to the in temple practice. People are sick, people die, people need many, many different ways to help. People come to here, zero complaint. Any backgrounds, they say, oh, it's so wonderful. That's just my vision is accomplishment, the first. Second, you will follow the Buddha as a practice place, a spiritual place. You will learn something. You don't need to go far away to get here. Then same time, this day is technology. So we will into Zooms and Facebook and things also another tool. Then outside in the, our courtyard is my another vision is people come to gatherings. And people here hard working. They are no time to social things. Walk to office, office to your room, room to the office, then life's end. So let them need to come to the one spiritual place. Outer environment is good. You can shop practice and share your culture, your uh, your life story, and we can uh, share the, uh, our own life story. We can inviting the many older senior people can tell the story in their generations. How we can make the better. 
So this is uh, the inside the temple or outside the temple. My vision is a benefit. Whoever comes, I'll try my best to serve them. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. And you've also had some amazing teachers come here as well, yes. offering very powerful, blessed teachings. Yes, we after this body and we invite in head of the our master. Uh, his surname is Jung Kyangun Chezan Rinpoche, his eminence Chizo Rinpoche, and his eminence uh, Kenji Rinpoche, and then the, uh, his eminence the Kim, uh, Kinsur Serachi Kinsur Rinpoche, and then the Wundeling Rinpoche, the main Rinpoche came here this, uh, the past few uh, one half year, mm. and also whoever come to the Boston area, uh, Tibetan Buddhism or non-Tibetan Mahayana Theravada, whoever, uh, if I know something, I will you know, invite him to we will send follow one Buddha. Uh, this is we will a place to gatherings, interfaith the dialogues, and something like that. That's beautiful. And what do you see as the future? Where do you see the role of the DMC? Maybe five years, ten years. 50 years, if we can even plot that far in the future. The future is I don't have the protection, but we hope continue practice. People will come to here if they know any other business, you know, two things. They will come to here, learn something on practice, and they will need to benefit. You have to have experience, then you know it's a benefit. If you don't have experience, one time or a few times short prayer, it cannot change. Mm. But need effort to continue. Looks like your cell phone charge, not once in a while. You charge all the time. Practice all the time, then increase your inner strength. Then you see something like food, they have some flavor. Mm. Otherwise, you cannot understand it. That's why the, uh, you follow the uh, Christian or Islam or Buddhism. There's a need to like commitment. And people come here. They not say, oh, I'm becoming Buddhism. No, there are many different people coming here. Some test what it looks like the qualified teacher or not, what it looks like the place, or they want something, learning something, or maybe they have their own issues, they could maybe go to here, ask questions. Many things. You need all preparing yourself. Mm -hmm. So this is not a small job, big job. It's a huge people job. People coming here, <clears throat> many some super scholars coming and they ask questions beginning very easy then top and top then there are no tests for you and also maybe different reasons people coming here you never know mm -hmm. no that's wonderful that's wonderful so with all of that in mind lama sonam with all of this mission that you're building and being a benefit to Actually, all beings, not just humans. Right. You know, there's animal liberation yes. and things like that. Yes. So we can actually say all living beings. Yes. So with all of that in mind, how can people participate and help? What can they do to um, share in this blessing? Yes, that's um, temple. I always say whoever come. The temple belongs to them. Anybody can help. There are many different can help. Four season you can help. If you don't have money, you're going to say, oh, I don't have money, but I have time. Mm. Summer, okay, you can cut the grass. Mm. Check out the garden, you know. And people coming, clean this temple. Clean temple means clean your own mind. Mm. When the clean outside, clean inside means the super Realization is coming close. Outside in Jangi Yangi, inside your mind also in Jangi Yangi. This place in the clean, in the cleansing purification. And also relaxing and rejoicing place. People come to here outside to see the prayer flag in the stupa. People will appreciate it. Mm. You know, this is a one person effort in all Sangha members together, hard working. And also non Sangha members can work together. So now, as we have accomplishment a lot, but still uh, we need help. Yes, I, your question related. 
and some are uh, symbol things cut grass, and the fall uh, help do the leaf clings, you know, leaves so many leaves. In the winter, you can have the snow uh, cling, you know, snow shovel and the snow blow, whatever those things. And then, you know, right now it's important uh, we need to uh, heave with mortgage. So, and your monthly help may be sustainable or project or mortgage. Maybe uh, whatever you can, 10, 15, 20 monthly. Because many people can uh, c collect it and then the bucket will full of the money. Mm. So that's the community center, it makes sense. Everybody can help it. And everybody can enjoy it. And the birthdays, maybe you can do here some prayer, release, just use uh, animal liberation and many things. Mm. Or you say this place, my parents, I want some commemorable for them to again uh, plant one fruit tree or evergreen tree. And I can put their names also, appreciation, that belongs to the such, such family. Mm. Also, we now outside the uh, eight stupas, they need foundation in the cement. And maybe 200 uh, bags, you know, maybe mm, 600 bucks, something like that. Whatever you can have, the small things, Mm. The sandal is belongs to you, and then we appreciate for you. Whenever we pray, we never forget your kindness. So this we call everything's interdependent. The sandals succeed or not dependent. The our friends, families, devoted student can help. That's the only my early went by. I know I don't have any stable incomes. Sandal don't have any stable incomes, but I have faith, mm. unchangeable uh, faith to the uh, people. We do good things, people can see, they can also help for us. So now the people can uh, time, if you have uh, financially or your commemorable or um, something benefit, we will appreciate. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. I understand we have this um, amazing opportunity to uh, purchase a square foot and, yes. and, and, you know, either in our name or as a dedication um, for loved ones who right. have passed or whatnot. So if you could talk about that, that would be wonderful. Yes, this is uh, uh, our um, ongoing or mission, or dream, or this is we need accomplishment uh, within five years. So now they here the uh, matching of the uh, square feet. So here is the five thousand four hundred thirty-seven square feet. So this one is we need call uh, <clears throat> uh, five hundred and eighty thousand. No, 196 need goal. So there's each score fit 108 mm. number. Auspicious. Auspicious with mm, this one. So you and your family members, loved ones, pets, whoever uh, need important in your life. You wish something now, he or she's not here. But you now need a guilty feeling like that. You can uh, help respond, sponsor for this. Uh, Scott Fit. We will put your loved one's name in this uh, box, each day our small box, your family name. So as long as this temple, your family is the part of this temple, we can print and, and then frame and live in the temple. So uh, whoever see this project, please uh, help whatever you can. Uh, even though you're not necessarily Buddhism, but this one is, you know, the culture, you know, Tibetan culture is right now uh, not easy situation. Mm. So we need to protect because the uh, Tibetan language is very beautiful. But they are now use, uh, using in the uh, inner Tibetans, outers and Himalayan regions, many things. And His Holiness Dalai Lama said, if you want to learn Buddhism, scripture, 
in the Tibetan texts, we have the uh, Theravada texts, Mahayana texts, Vajrayana texts, all the texts, including in the, our own the Tibetan language. Some uh, sect, they don't have the Vajrayana, or maybe Mahayana, or maybe they have two, they have not three. Mm. So this is the uh, helping for all the culture and six million people's culture. Six million uh, people in giving now in the world so much. You can see in the United States there are hundreds in the Tibetan Buddhist center. People go there, they peace in mind. Remember, now His Holiness Dalai Lama and His Holiness Jungu Jamwon, His Holiness Sakya, all of those are aging. But many years ago, they're coming to hear teachings. How many people they change life? So that's we have the responsibility to carrying those legacy in the teachings. So we need to go someplace to receive teaching. So if we were to succeed, for myself also very much a little bit more relaxing. Mm. Sometimes it's a little bit pressure, you know. We've been inviting more uh, teaching or teachers in different sect. Or uh, we can use more benefit. Mm. And not only um, or religion or only Buddhism, we can invite in doctors, scientists, m mathematics. What is the benefit we will the humanity to make different? So, like I say, outside we will make nice peace garden. I think people can see right away their peace in mind. So this is our dream: the outer temple or inner temple. Mm. <clears throat> That's awesome. That's beautiful. So, Lama Sonam, with all of this, if you were to give the viewer of this documentary any closing words of advice or insight that you would like to share that you think would be of benefit, what would yes. that be? And my, uh, not advice, but my talk, share. Respect and kind each other. This includes respect, include religions, cultures, colors, race, all different things, but we have the same humanity. We need to respect. We need kindly each other. Our own things, we say, this is my, there's nothing is you. Everything is made by somebody. Everything is interdependent. We need it kindly. So this is my rope. Say so this is my rope. Did I make this one? No. So which one I made without the people now touching? So this everything is so you eating, clothing, everything made by somebody. So this we need to reason in the kindness. That is a Buddhist teaching called all mother sentient beings. Mm. Because kind is a need to reach into. That's they give for us so much. So now you have the opportunity to kindness back to them or respect them. This is my thought. And now, conclusion here, I can pray for whoever see this documentary. And it's not uh, just uh, movie acting. This is a real uh, thought. A real situation, real benefit. You can feel and you can get here. So now this prayer, Bodhicitta um, increase prayer. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sonam, thank you very much. Hello, 
everyone today the second day of uh, multiply month uh, somebody want to accumulate merit this is the place so you're gonna walk accumulate merit so forever you come and whatever you need to here so anybody want to come please come help just come here thanks